Hey friends, this is Brian with the KY Woodsman. It's the uh, fall squirrel season here in Kentucky uh, around the first part of September and uh, finally broke away to get out here and chase some squirrels. So uh, I'd like you to join me this morning. It's still a little bit early, but I'm going to slip in and see if I can sit down under a tree and, and see what uh, the morning brings us. Okay, catch you in a minute. You know the good thing about getting out here after an early morning rain is it makes for real silent stalking and I'm just walking up this creek here and already come across one squirrel but unfortunately he saw me first. <laughs> but uh, the other thing is is the limbs uh, okay, just heard another one. Uh, the leaves have uh, water on them still from the rain and every time a squirrel jumps on one of them it rains down so you can locate them real easy so uh, if you haven't done an early morning squirrel hunt you know when the dew sits on the leaves or a nice overnight rain then man it's cool you'll love it so get out there and give it a try okay let's continue on here Okay, uh, you know, I thought about something. Uh, I never had anybody teach me how to squirrel hunt or deer hunt. So uh, let me give you all some tips. And I know some of y'all can do this so much better than I even can. And uh, I watch your videos and, you know, it helps having private land too. This is public land, so everything's been hunted quite a bit. But uh, anyway, I thought uh, I would go through and maybe give a few tips that I know that have helped me with squirrel hunting. If you're new to this or never have, or were thinking about becoming a hunter, then uh, here's just a few tips for you that I look for. Uh, <clears throat> one is I always look for, uh, let me see if I can find one here. I always look for walnut trees. And I don't know if you can, let's see if I can zoom in. It's not gonna let me. Well, dang it. But walnut, uh, walnut, let's see, that light colored one right here with the little bitty leaves. They've got, I think, about nine leaves on each little branch. And uh, I look for those during the fall because those in hickory trees, uh, hickories, now this is a white oak in front of me, but it's got pretty big leaves on it too. But hickory's leaves are even bigger than those and uh, that's what you want to look for uh, you want to look for the food source so uh, if you can find like a nut grove of hickory's where there's a bunch of them or a bunch of walnuts then just kind of sit tight around there and pretty soon the squirrels will come to you I'm always looking up ahead and you can see this little clearing right here you know always keep your eyes way way on up ahead at the trees way on up ahead you know and then slip up to them so you know if that white tree right over here was uh that's about as far ahead as i stay with my eyes and i'll look up in the branches of that far tree and while i've got all this cover in between me and it and that way they don't see you don't look at the trees right dead in front of you, but look at the ones beyond and always slip up and walk to the ones beyond. <clears throat> and that's kind of the still hunting, what you do. Anyway, I just try to keep looking ahead, far ahead, while I've got cover in between me and them. And uh, and then I'll, I'll just kind of keep my eyes out around me too. Cause I mean, I've had them sitting like right there and uh, where they're, you know, getting a nut that fell on the ground and they're getting ready to go back. And they usually, what a squirrel does is uh, it'll drop a nut. If it can hang on to it, it will, but sometimes they're out on a branch and they get loose from them and they'll fall. And if you hear a nut fall, slip up to that tree because you're going to find the squirrel. But, uh, but then they'll go down on the ground, get that nut, 
and they'll always go up to a branch and eat it. And usually the branch that they sit on is about eight feet to about uh, 20, 15, 20 feet uh, off the ground. They usually don't go high back up again. And in, in Kentucky, they usually don't eat them on the ground. There's too many predators. So they'll always go like a forked branch or something. So, and when they do that, I usually always look for their tail because they'll twitch their tail while they're eating and move it. And uh, any kind of movement like that is what you're looking for. So uh, anyway, that's a couple tips for squirrel hunting if you've never done it before. And so anyway, it's a game of patience and uh, you know, whoever is the most persistent will win. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna head on down the trail here and hopefully pick one off. I'm pretty hungry for one. stuck up in that branch. Dag nabbit. See if I can show him to you. There he is. You see him? I shot him right there and he never fell out of the tree. Good gravy. Okay. So let me see. I can throw something up there and knock him out. Okay, so I found me a stick and pitched it up there, and on the second try, knocked him out of the knocked him out of the tree. So anyway, we got us a good squirrel here. Let's go clean him up. You know, enjoy the hunt, and uh, most of all, when you get it home, enjoy the game and uh, then bring someone with you if you can. So uh, thank you so much for joining me here on this uh, Kentucky Woodsman episode. And uh, I know it's been a little while since I've been with you. I've just been slaving like a dog, but uh, finally got some time off and it's wonderful to get out here in the woods. So thank you for joining me, like I said, and uh, God bless you. And I'll see you on the next episode of the Kentucky Woodsman. Goodbye.